Right before I went home to Hawaii, I received my shiny new green lolly cup in the mail and uh, one of my sister-in-laws told me to make sure to bring some cups so that I could uh, show the nieces, cousins, and my other sister-in-law about them. Well, my daughter came to me one day and said that one of my nieces were already previously interested in using a menstrual cup, but she wasn't sure which cup to get. And since the lolly cup is one of my all-time favorite cups, I did want to give her that cup. So now she has a brand new menstrual cup and she's not really sure how to use it. She did give it a try a few times uh, before she left on her travels to Las Vegas. Uh, good luck over there, Kavena. So I did want to come back and do a new video on how to insert and remove your menstrual cup. Uh, if you are thinking about using a menstrual cup or are new to using a menstrual cup, I hope this helps. Um, and this one is for you, Kavena. Hello everyone, it's Fred Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you've been searching menstrual cups, you've probably read or heard to relax. I know it's easy to say and not so easy to do sometimes, especially in this kind of a situation. But if you're stressing out, you might be tensing up without even realizing it. If you're getting frustrated, take a break and try again later. This is where being able to practice when you're not bleeding comes in very handy. You don't need the cup right now. If you've been practicing a few times and you're starting to feel dried out, use a water-based lubricant, only water-based, uh, to help ease the cup in again. I know that you're determined to get this to work for you, but if you start getting frustrated and start drying out and start getting swollen, it's really time to take a break. All right, so the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is of course, wash your hands. Then you wanna find a comfortable position. You can sit on the toilet, scoot back a little bit and lean forward. You can stand and place a foot on the toilet or on the tub or you can squat down on the ground or in the shower. Next, you'll wanna find a fold that's easy for you and that works with the cup that you're using. There are many different folds that you can do with a menstrual cup and I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to different folds uh, at the end of this video and also in the description below if you wanna check those out. One of the easiest folds is the U or C fold where you just kind of fold your cup in half and there is the C fold or the U fold and this is the point that you would be inserting. Another very easy and popular fold is the punch down fold where you take the rim and you press it straight down to the center and bottom of the cup and you remove your finger and this is the point that will be inserted. Either of these two folds are normally very easy and the go-to folds for a new user. Once you're in a comfortable position and you found the fold that you want to use, you're going to gently spread your labia and insert your menstrual cup aiming toward the tailbone until your hand is resting against your body. At this point, you can release the cup. The cup might not be in position and you might have some of the cup partially outside of your body. You can use a finger to maneuver the cup into place using the rim as leverage and support. Here's a few tips for you after you insert your menstrual cup. Once your cup is in place, you want to insert a finger and make sure that the cup is right around your cervix or right below it. If the cervix is pushed to the side, you will experience leaking. You'll want to correct this. To do this, you'll wiggle your cup down just a bit so that your cervix can drop inside of the cup. Then you can use a finger to maneuver it back into place. When you're comfortable with the position of the cup, squat down and then bear down with your muscles, bringing the cup closer to the opening of your vagina. 
then take a wet wipe or a wet cloth and wipe the grip rings and or the stem, if you have the stem intact, of any excess blood. This is what is known as residual slobber in the menstrual cup world. This blood is coating the walls of your vagina even after you insert your cup. Eventually it starts to slide down your walls and the cup and find its way out onto your underwear. When people experience this, a lot of times they think that they are leaking or spotting. Make sure the cup has a good seal. Once your cup is inserted, give it a gentle tug. If there is any resistance behind it, chances are it does have a good seal. However, if your cup slides easily, it probably isn't placed correctly and you'll want to reinsert it. For some people, inserting a menstrual cup is a breeze, but removing it is another story. Hopefully this will make it easier for you. Again, you want to wash your hands and then find a comfortable position. To remove your menstrual cup, you'll probably either want to sit on the toilet, scoot your bum back a little bit and lean forward, or do this in the shower with your foot propped up or squatting down. Bear down with your muscles and squeeze them to bring the cup closer to the opening of your vagina. Gently spread your labia and insert two fingers. Locate and pinch the base of the cup. If you're using the stem to bring your cup lower, make sure you only use it until you can actually get a hold of the base of the cup. Most stems can not support the weight of a cup, especially if it's filled. You don't want your bathroom to end up looking like a crime scene. Then you can slide the cup out. If the cup doesn't slide easily, you can rock the cup back and forth, walking it out of your vaginal canal. Make sure to keep the cup upright when you completely remove it from your body. Then you can dump the contents into the toilet or down the drain. And here are some tips for an easier, pain-free removal. Make sure to break that seal that I mentioned previously by pinching the base of the cup. You can also insert a finger and press on the side of the cup to break the seal. If you don't break the seal first, you may pull on your cervix and cause some discomfort and maybe even some pain and cramping. Even if you don't normally have a sensitive bladder, you may brush or hit your urethra on the way out. From personal experience, this sucks and it does hurt. And it happens more often with a firmer cup than a softer cup. To avoid this, you can insert your thumb and collapse the side and rim so that it doesn't apply pressure to that area when you're removing the cup. For some, the process of learning how to insert a menstrual cup and how to remove it was really easy. For others, not so much. But like everything else, practice makes close to perfect. Even I still have some mishaps. If you're still having troubles with a cup even after practicing for a few months, that cup just might not be the one for you. Give another cup a try and see how that goes. Check out the links at the end of this video or in the description box for videos on different cup folds, tips and tricks while using a menstrual cup, and when to empty your menstrual cup. Or check out my channel for other videos that might interest you. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also leave me a comment down below with your cup mishaps or your noob horror stories. Until I see you next time, good luck, happy cupping, I love you Kavena, and take care for everyone else.